The State vs. Nelson Mandela The Trial That Changed South Africa by Joel Joff Forward by Nelson Mandela South Africa in itself was suspicious, if not criminal. So they, in turn, had called in the security police and there had been an extensive raid. All the documents and books they could find were confiscated and the names and addresses of everyone present had been noted. The camp had been formally closed down and everybody ordered off the land. Goldberg and other suspected ringleaders in the camp had been ordered to report to the police the following day in Cape Town, which they had done. Statements had been taken from them all. No prosecution of any sort had followed, nor had there, at that time, been any suggestion of any offence other than a possible accidental trespass on the Mission Society's ground. Cyril Davids was one of those who had reported to the police at the time. He had been arrested later, after the Ravoni arrest of Goldberg, and held in solitary detention. He told the court of the activities at the camp during the two days for which he had survived, before the police closed it down. There had been lectures on first aid, on simple electrical circuits and the telephone. There had been talks on news of the day. There had been a demonstration on how to operate a duplicating machine and how the process of duplicating worked. There had been a preliminary lecture on elementary judo tactics and on how a motor car engine worked. All this was common cause. But into this factual account, Dr. Utah repeatedly put the question, what was the purpose of this lecture? And the answer came back, pat and prompt for use in guerrilla warfare. Question. Why were you learning to handle a duplicating machine? Answer. Because in guerrilla warfare we might need to hand out leaflets. Why were you being taught judo? Because in guerrilla warfare it would be used for unarmed combat. Why to use a telephone? Because in guerrilla warfare we might need field telephones and so on. If Davids was to be believed, Goldberg ended every talk on the day's news, every discussion about a motor car engine or first aid.